What's up guys, Aaron from Fresh Tech Integrated here. And today we're gonna to be talking about key lighting in your church. So grab your sunglasses and let's go. So when we talk about creating experiences here, one of the big tools that we use is lighting. Um, and really for us, lighting we use as a tool. So at its core, we're trying to set an atmosphere with lighting and we're trying to point people with lighting. So point them to whatever we want to see in that moment. Um, but with seeing something, we really want the end goal to be that they see Jesus. Um, and so for us, we are always kind of fighting a balance there of making sure that that lighting, you know, isn't so distracting uh, that it pulls you away from what we're doing. You know, I always tell our LDs here, um, if people leave church this weekend saying the lighting was great, we failed because we pointed them to exactly what we were doing rather than what we wanted them to engage with. Um, so one of the key pieces of uh, our lighting rig is our key lighting. Um, this is the most, most, most important aspect of everything that we do um, here, maybe outside of the speaker's mic. Um, but really, um, key lighting sets up everything, not just for the room, but for broadcast. You know, this is gonna be the lighting scene that's gonna be on for over half of the experience here. We have spent, I kid you not, hundreds of hours getting our key lighting dialed in. Um, we have very low ceilings here um, at our broadcast campus. Um, and so figuring out you know, how to get an even coverage um, that's really going to suit our broadcast style was incredibly difficult. We did get there, um, but it took a lot of time. Um, and then for us, the other thing is, while we want a very broadcast friendly key lighting for our preaching moments, we also want a very stylized key lighting for our worship teams and especially for our worship leaders that gives a little bit more shadows and dimensions that kind of, again, matches the shooting style of what we're trying to accomplish there. And so. We have invested a lot of time in the key lighting, probably more than any other lighting feature in our rig. Um, the secondary piece for that in our lighting rig is definitely our hazer. Um, we've gone through a, a lot of different hazers. Um, we're actually using the MDG atmosphere, um, and that has just been so great for us, just very clean. Um, the other thing is our stage is very shallow, um, so getting a hazer that was incredibly quiet, um, basically the MDG you can't even hear when it's on, um, was really, really great for us. Um, and then outside of that, we've got a lot of different fixtures. Uh, we tend to go a little bit more towards wash fixtures than anything else. Um, again, we, they usually tend to serve us a little bit better just in what we're trying to do with more create, like a look and a moment and a feel and kind of stay invisible. Um, some of the other stuff when we get into lots of gobos or crazy beams and stuff, again, tend to point it back at the lighting fixture, like, oh, wow, look at the lights kind of thing. And that's not usually what we want to hit. So um, those are some of the key philosophies of kind of how we approach lighting here at APC. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end of this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified. And also, if you learned something from this video, comment below.